Hello everybody, this is Diane. I'm making good progress on these music themed journals. And as I said in the previous video, this one is spoken for. And this one will be in the shop. I'm not going to reserve it. And I just want to list it in the shop. But I had promised um, a viewer that um, if she saw something she liked, this was a few weeks ago, if she saw something she liked, she could message me and maybe I'd be able to reserve it for her. So she did want one of these and she selected this one. So I am going to be working some more on the pages. Yesterday, on yesterday's video, which was I made earlier today, being Saturday, I um, did the pockets. Made some pockets to put on the front. And I... No, I uh, added... Well, I made fabric flips, and then after I turned the camera off, I sewed the fabric flips to the pages, and I added lace to the front edges of some of the pages, and did just a little bit more. So I'm just going to do some more work on the pages of these two books. So what I have in front of me are the other elements of this journal kit, which happens to be called... The Musician's Parlor by Kelly's Crafts by Kelly, and I will link that shop below. And I printed the kit one time, and I am making two journals out of it, seriously, and I have several pages left. There are a lot of pages in the, in the kit, and it also comes with some embellishments, some of which I've already put in, some of the pockets, and then it comes with some of these cards with a little tab and I printed uh, images on the back uh, background paper on the back but it didn't quite work so I have to do something to the edges of those it comes with four postcards and I used two of them one in each journal so one more each journal gets one more and it also comes with these little square embellishments that have a ticket corner I have those to use. It comes with four. So each book can have two of those. Each book can have two of the circles and two of the, or one of the little library cards with the images on them. So I have all of those to use from this kit still. Plus I have these pages if I want to use them for anything, these leftover pages. Uh, I purchased as an extra the musician tea cards from the same digital shop and I did use a few of those but I have some left to use. I have the Mrs. Coggs images from the two kits that I used in the previous music journals and uh, these two kits are the piano and the sounds of music and these are what the pieces that I didn't use so I have those to use. I have two tags left from what I had made for these journals. I made them for these journals. I just haven't put them in yet. And this is left over from the previous journals. And I also have left over some pieces from the Stamperia Music paper pad, paper collection. So I have quite a few pieces of that left. Along with some miscellaneous things that I can use for collage, for journaling, and all of these pieces that came with the DC. It's like these are never ending. <laughs> I keep using them and there's there's still more there. They came from an old DCWB stack. So that's pretty much what I have. Plus I do have the vintage ads. I haven't, well I did use a vintage ad or two on some of the collaged cards that I made, pockets. So anyway, enough talk. Oh, I also have my box of music stamps. So, Let's just get to work. Take one signature here. <clears throat> and I want to add a stamp on this page. I think I will add Beethoven. This is a bust of Beethoven. And I'll add something to the back. 
back side also. I'll just add these musical notes. Now I want to kind of divide these up and set some aside so I don't use too much. So I'll use this one in here and this one in the next journal. This one, it doesn't matter, I only have one of them and it might be too big for these journals. And I'll add one of those and two of these circles. Two of the tickety squares. And one more postcard. Seems like I should have another one of these. Maybe there were only three. So I'll just set that there until I figure it out. And then as for the tea cards, I'll just divide them up. So three more for each. And the Mrs. Cog's images I'll just use. I know I'm sure I won't use all of them. So these are for, for whatever. I can use them for anything. So I can use the circles and these little tickety things for a little tuck spot. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll start with that one. then when that dries I can put something small, tuck something small in there. Oh, like a tuba and a cigarette card. But I don't want to stick them down in the glue. I also have two of these vintage cards, flash cards, so I'll put one of those in each journal. Okay. I think I'll just put a stamp on this. Oh, I do have to reinforce this because it's tearing. So let's take care of that before I forget. I can just use a piece of this pom um, avocado, not pomegranate, avocado paper to reinforce that. It's already cut to about the size that I want. I usually do that with about an inch paper and that is an inch. <coughs> And I will just put some double-sided tape on it. You can use glue. This is just the way I always do it, so I continue to do it this way. I don't use my ATG for as much stuff as I used to. And I don't really know why, I just use my glue more. It's all expensive, so I don't know which is the most economical way to go. Adhesives are expensive. But you can't do your projects without them, which is, you know, a good reason to do sewing on a lot of the stuff that you do because the thread doesn't cost much. And I need to cover this up. Something Something got stuck on here. I pulled this paper out of my stash. Who knows, I probably started using it for something at one point. So I'm gonna just put a quote up here. Music. I had my little scissors here. Yep, here we go already, searching for stuff. 
when I here it is when I organized the space before I turned the video on I had these scissors but I failed to put them in their proper spot. It says music the art or science of combining vocal or instrumental sounds or both to produce beauty of form, harmony, and expression of emotion. This is torn here, but it's already secured down to the avocado paper strip, so it's fine. All right, now I will stamp something. I have a, this is a tuba. The other one, I don't even know what the other one was. I think I like it better like this, even though Apparently it's supposed to go that way, but I think you can use it any way you want to. So I'm going to use it like this. And on this side, when words, where words fail, music speaks. I think I used to have a quote, a stamp that said, where words fail, music... Oh, that's what this one says. Um, if, if music be... Uh, if music be the something of love, play on. And I don't know where that stamp is. And on this one, I had this piece of mesh, vintage mesh fabric that someone sent me. And I would love, I will love to use that in layering, but I just made a tab out of it with another piece of vintage lace. So that's all vintage there. I need something for this pocket. I'll go, I'll go back and ink these things later. I think I would like to round the corners of that. these extra caps. I save them because I'm always losing them. All right, let's put a stamped image on here. No, no. Yes, a stamped image here. I have this one. This one has Beethoven and Mozart, and I'm not sure who this guy is in the middle. using a lot of stamps in just one signature so I'll have to repeat some of them on the other signatures but that's fine nothing wrong with that I think I'll just do a little collage or something over here Ooh, I like that number. I believe it was Alicia Wheeler that sent me this book of Mozart music, but it's really tiny. Okay. Take a 
piece of this. I don't want this collage to take up too much space on the page. And add a little piece of a pink doily maybe. ruined by my printer. My husband and I each had our own printers from the other house that we lived in because he got a really good deal on mine. Got it for me for Christmas. I had just started using digital images, digital kits and stuff, so he bought me a printer for Christmas one time, and he had one already in his office. And when we moved to this house, he didn't want to put it in his office for some reason. Since our kids moved out, you know, moved away from home, we we've always had a big house and so the extra rooms became his office and my craft room. I think it needs a little something else. Anyway, um, so when we moved here he put his printer down in the basement and we had we have wireless printers so he could print he could print from wherever he was in his office he could use his computer to print and then just go down to the basement to get what he printed. But he didn't print an awful lot. He didn't need to use the printer that, that much. So anyway, I'm telling you all this to say that I have his printer still down in the basement. But uh, I think it... I'm not sure. I have to see if it still works. It's very similar to the one I have. And I don't know what I'll do with it. I don't think either of my kids needs a printer. I know my daughter doesn't want it. But I was thinking if if um, I can't get this one to work right, then maybe I can get that one too. But I don't know. Just wait till my ink comes tomorrow. I like that. That helps. I don't want to take up writing space though. I need something to put that tag. Oh, I know. I figured I would make a pocket on the inside cover and put this in the pocket. So, I'm going to put those away in my little drawer here so I don't forget. I'll save those for the cover. Now, just trim this a little smaller and just put it on the side there. It can be a tuck spot if you want it to be, but mostly it's a decoration. I'm just trimming it so it won't take up so much base and it was cut a little crooked. And I'm going 
going to add a piece of seam binding underneath it. So I'm going to sew that, but I'm just going to paper clip it for now. I think I'll just use white. So that this will be ruffled up underneath the little tag when I sew it. Excuse my arm. I'll just paper clip it there so I don't forget what I'm doing there. And then I have this piece here. I'll just leave that. to do something to this. I was thinking for these that I could cut one in half and fold it and put it into a pocket. Or, or just clip it to a page. I'm just going to trim off that fold. Oop, that didn't work. I don't think I have any music themed paper clips. Arrows, hearts, butterflies, numbers. I think I'll just use one of these. Might as well leave the lid off because I'll be grabbing more of them. I think that signature is complete. So now I will just do the same things on the other pages where I put them. There they are. Hiding behind my box of stamps. So first off I need stamps on this page. These are these stamps that I have of Mozart and Beethoven of their heads. Um, they're a little big. They take up space on the page that you could use for journaling, but it's okay. There's lots of space to journal on. For some reason, I have trouble with that part of his face on this stamp. And got a signature here. L.V. Beethoven, Ludwig von Beethoven. And so, of course, on this side, I have to put Mozart. These are old stamps that I got from Stampington and Company. 
many years ago. That one's not great either. He just looked a little faded. And here's his signature. For this page, oh, on this on this side of the page, I just need to. I'll put one of these tickets as a little tuck spot. It's not really a ticket, but it is a square with ticket corners. card in there and a Mrs. Cog's image. Let's try to find one of the littler ones. Not sure if that's what I'll leave in there, but that's there for now. Then for this music page, oh, I didn't finish this. I didn't sew this pocket down or glue this one down. Hmm. We'll get there. And on this page, I want to paper clip one of the extra pages. This one is on parchment. It's the image that I did manage to print successfully and I put it on the front cover of the book. And after that, my printer went kaput. So for the cover of the other book, I just used one of the book pages that I had already printed. if I should alcohol ink those paper clips. I don't think I'm gonna leave that in there. I don't I don't like it being that big. I'll find something else to tuck in there. <coughs> this Probably, when I stamp on that, it'll probably show through. I'll just put some music on it. It's a thinner paper. I'll just stamp it right there. Not too bad. This actually is, um, I think it's a type typing paper. Probably need something on that side too. Let's do this music note. This is old. This is all night media. glue this pocket together, glue it to the page, going to ink the spot that's going to show,
Now this is a patterned paper, but it was white and it had lacy design on it and I copy dyed it. So it's kind of indistinguishable from the copy dyed paper. And I'm gonna cover up the major part of the lace pattern on it, but so it pretty much looks like copy dyed paper. So when I realized that, I had chosen the paper to, to copy dye for these journals and it was all like that. It was like leftover from a wedding pack of paper. So it was white and lacy and stuff like that. <laughs> and then after while I was copy dyeing it, I realized it just looks like copy dyed paper. So I ran up here and grabbed a few more pieces to copy dye while I was working downstairs. Got a few more done in different colors, but I'm still going to use some of these. Then we have this. Um, let me see what happens when I ink this. I don't think it'll blend in, but maybe it'll be decent. At least it's not white. And I'll put some washi tape down it. Washi tape can be sheer, so if I left it white, it would just show through white. Uh, I used to have, I think, oh, here's some, some music note washi tape. Downey Jr. Sherlock Holmes movie, the first one, while I ate my lunch. I love those movies. I just like the style. I like Robert Downey Jr. Um, and I just love the steampunk look to those movies. And I will add a fabric or ribbon or something tab to that, I think. And I'll tuck something behind, maybe one of these Stamperia papers. That's a nice one. Oh, that's a good size side. Okay, now on this side, I'm gonna sew this and then put this in the pocket. And let's add this one to the pocket. Oh, something with a little more color, because this is pretty pale. <laughs> He's awakened the household during the night, playing the piano in the middle of the night, or harpsichord, or whatever that is. It's not a piano, because it's pianos weren't invented yet. So I'm going to paper clip all of these together have to take them to my sewing machine. I lost where this goes. There's that. Okay, it goes right there. Well, on the, on the, in the other signature, I put something up here to cover up something that was there. So I'm just going to add something up here, just because I have a lot that I can add. This one says, music is love. I'm done with this session, this crafting session. I've got to go back to what I call the library now. It used to be my husband's office, but I kind of filled it up with bookshelves after when after he passed away and then my parents moved and they had bookshelves and I put bookshelves in there and I call it my library because I was gonna, I put a chair in there 
I was going to make it my reading room, and I did spend some mornings in there um, doing my morning devotions, my Bible reading and stuff. Um, but I kind of got away from doing that because I kind of filled the room up with stuff from my yard sailing or flea marketing. Well, that's I was supposed to put this on this page, but that's okay. Doesn't matter where it goes. All right, then we have this out of a music book and a fabric flip. So anyway, I need to get back in there and today I do some more work on going through stuff and maybe actually packing. I went through, that's where I have some storage of my fabrics, like my chenille and my patchwork and vintage sheets and stuff. I went through all that yesterday and I had already purged it. So I I didn't I didn't go through the chenille yesterday, but all the other stuff I did. Oh, the boho fabrics I need to go through. And I'm thinking I have a lot of boho fabrics. So I might do a boho fabric de-stash. But I am accumulating some more things to maybe sell if I have time. If I don't have time, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to uh, donate them or something. But I thought maybe after I pack up my craft room, I might still be able to list, list some things in my shop if I set things aside. But only if I can do it stress-free at that point. Okay, so anyway, that's what I want to do after I finish this crafting session. Let's get in there and packing. It also has my clothes closet because that was the best closet in the house. This is a hundred year old house, a hundred and twenty year old house. So the closets leave a great deal <laughs> to be desired. They are not cool. So my husband had his clothes in there and after he passed away, I moved mine in there so I can go through them. So I'm slowly, well, a little more quickly now, getting rid of stuff that I don't think I'm going to need or have room for when I move. And I have better peace of mind at night if I know that I've accomplished something in that area during the day. I'm putting this edge on the edge because it's missing the black, blackish looking border. The rest of the sides have that. Maybe just a little snippet of lace here. Maybe a different color of music paper
You know how my uh, battery is always wanting to die on me when I'm making videos? So I just, uh, before I started this video, I changed my battery because I had just done a video earlier today. So I changed my battery and I <laughs> just got started talking on this video and it started flashing. So apparently I had put in a battery that I hadn't charged. I have a kind of a routine of where I put things and I have the battery charger plugged in right in front of me here but it's only charging while I have my light on because it's plugged into a power strip. When I turn the power strip off with the light it's not charging anymore. So anyway I can see it right in front of me but apparently I put this battery where I thought the charged batteries were. I have three that I kind of rotate. So it's kind of funny. I was, you know, thinking ahead and changing my battery before I started the video and nope. <laughs> but at least I had just started. So, you know, I just was introducing the video and then I realized I had to take the battery or the camera off the tripod and Change the battery. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. Not totally funny. So you can probably tell I'm just going to be doing more of the same with this you know, the same things in all six signatures, three for each journal. Taking my sweatshirt off. Apparently it got icy in some places. I told you, well, I said in the other video, yesterday's video, but it was still the same day as the day I'm filming this one, Saturday. It was drizzly, not drizzly, it was a rainy day. Which I like rainy days. I actually enjoy rainy days. And it's just a good day to stay home and craft. So I was enjoying that. But apparently, I don't know if it's icy here because I'm not going out. But I saw my niece posted on Facebook that she was going home from work and saw a car slide in, slide in front of a plow truck. Which we definitely don't need a, sl a plow truck here. It's not snowing. And she doesn't live that far from me, but maybe they're having different weather than I am. Colder there. So I don't know. Apparently, she, if she saw that, it must have been slippery. She was warning people to be careful. Okay, so that signature is done. much used up all of my music stamps. I have two more and then I'll start using them over again. I have this little grand piano. Where's my, oh, did I use my big grand piano? I don't think I did. I think I just took it out of the box to get it out of my way. And I have this, I'll just takes up a lot of room on the page too, but it's totally worth it. In my opinion. Oh, that doesn't look good. So what do I do in this case? I'll tell you. I will stamp it on something else and then make a tuck spot. I have this scrap.
I'm going to make a side pocket. And th because the paper is crinkled, it left spaces there, but I like that. I just don't like that. I mean, it's all right, but because we want it to look vintage, but not that vintage. So I don't know why I'm not using my paper trimmer because I know I'll cut it crooked. I'll just trim it to this size and then see if I need to trim it more. And I intentionally didn't put it right on the edge of the paper because I want to fold, fold it over. Make a decorative edge to it. Might have been better if I'd used something with a little more color, but I do like that. So I am going to sew this down and then sew the pocket on. And now I have a place for another card to be tucked in. So I'll put this in there. And another Stamperia. Maybe I'll put this envelope. Well, I don't know if I want to glue that. I don't think, really want to glue it because you can write on the inside. So, instead of putting that in, I'll put this in. That card's a little small. I'll have to make a card to go in there. This is from a different paper pad. That's too big. Okay. So I'm just going to paper clip these things here. So now, instead of me doing the same thing over and over, you got to see how I would correct something that didn't go right. upside down. On this music page, there was a lot of text here, so I just added some scraps of coffee dyed paper and that little embellishment for journaling. Here, there's lots of space for journaling. this stamp either. And I have another grand piano. I don't think I used that one either. I guess I pulled stuff out of my box and didn't put them back in.
I love this violin stamp. Did I use that one? I think so. image over here. show up much because the background's darker but it's there anyway. Almost done except for the sewing stuff. With one book I can do the other book. And then I can make the covers and sew everything together. Okay, so that's that book. I'm going to turn the camera off and work on the second book. Or the yeah. Actually I don't think I am. I think I, I need to go work on packing. Enough playing and crafting. It's time to do the serious work today. Alright, so I feel like I'm making really good progress on these books and um, I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.